Hello and welcome to the viewers of this video. This is the Orange Fan here bringing you another entry for the episode Recap and Thoughts category. This video will be dedicated to the B segment of episode 22 of The Loud House, A Fair to Remember. We begin this segment with Bobby arriving at The Loud House to pick up Lori for their latest date. He managed to acquire two tickets to a monster truck rally, but Laurie doesn't like the sound of this event, but so the second ticket doesn't go to waste. She suggests that Bobby bring Lincoln with him to the event. Both Lincoln and Bobby aren't too sure about this idea since they've only had sparse interactions with each other so far, but Laurie is confident that the two will have a good time together. Later on in the night, when the two get back from the event, we find out that, yes, they did have a good time together, and they're even trying to come up with a bro handshake, but they don't know how to end it. <laughs> Lori likes that the two had a good time together, after all, but then the next day starts a montage of uh, different activities that Bobby and Lori are at, but then we find out that Bobby invited Lincoln to join them at these activities because Bobby had such a good time with Lincoln at the um, monster truck rally that he wanted to spend some more time with Lincoln. Both Lincoln and Bobby, though, don't realize that Lori isn't happy about this and she's silently fuming about it. Eventually, uh, it's a later day yeah, I think it's a later day. Lori hears from Bobby over the phone that he and Lincoln are having some quality time together playing arcade games. And that's where Lori becomes really unhappy because before she thought, she, or she felt like a third wheel is how she described it. But now she can't stand the idea of Lincoln and Bobby uh, hanging out with each other without her even being around. So she heads off to the arcade, and she's about to rant about this, but Bobby unknowingly interrupts her to thank her for, at least in, from his perspective, being cool with him spending time with Lincoln, because Bobby explains that Lincoln is like the brother that he never had, and he's really glad to be able to spend time with, uh, or have a figurative younger brother so to speak, and he does assure Lori that they'll be heading to the county fair the next day, but when he mentions that Lincoln will be tagging along too, Lori is once again silently fuming, and later on she's venting these frustrations to Lenny and Lucy. Lenny suggests that Lori spend time with Ronnie Ann, saying that Ronnie Ann could be the sister that Lori never had. Of course, yeah, the fact that Lori has a lot of sisters flies over Lenny's head there. Lucy, though, mentions that in her vampire book, uh, someone would try to make their boyfriend jealous by seemingly going out with another boy, and Lori likes the sound of that particular idea, but wondering who she can find to go along with this plan. They hear someone at the door, and... It turns out it's Clyde who's hoping to spend time with Lincoln. Lori sees this as a good um, part of her plan, but the sight of Lori causes Clyde to become unconscious. So Lucy has to act as Lori's messenger, explaining that Lori wants Clyde to join her at the county fair. And Clyde accepts, but he's knocked out unconscious yet again when Lori hugs him as thanks. So she ends up putting on these glasses on him that have fake eyes on them to make it look like he's awake, and she's pretty much just dragging around the unconscious Clyde at the county fair. Bobby doesn't pick up on this, and he's more than happy to have Clyde tag along, but Lincoln quickly pieces together what Laurie is planning, and he points out that, that Bobby can spend time with both him and... Uh, Lori that they don't necessarily have to restrict who Bobby spends time with, but Lori uh, doesn't want to hear it, so 
Lincoln then decides he'll have to fight fire with fire. So we have uh, moments throughout the county fair where Lori tries to make Bobby jealous through the unconscious Clyde and Lincoln distracting him with uh, bro stuff. He even comes up with a lot of bro puns <laughs> throughout the whole ordeal. Eventually, Lori ends up going through the tunnel of love with the unconscious Clyde, and she's not happy about this. And poor Clyde ends up falling in the water, so the staff have to fish him out and uh, put him in a tent to dry off. After finishing up the latest ride that they were on, Lincoln sees Lori crying about how she doesn't think she has a boyfriend anymore, and Lincoln tells Bobby that they can't do their bro stuff anymore. Bobby's worried, thinking that he did something to upset Lincoln, but then Lincoln quickly uh, backpedals on what he says and assures Bobby they can still do their bro stuff from time to time, but just that they shouldn't have Lori feel left out, and saying that for the time being he should probably spend some time with Lori to make up for lost time. Bobby praises Lincoln for thinking about Lori like this, and he does agree to do so. Later on, Lori comes to see Lincoln while he's on a bench, and she admits that Bobby told her what Lincoln had told Bobby, and she does thank Lincoln for his kind gesture. And Lincoln assures Lori she can still do stuff with Bobby because he's got to bring Clyde home, especially when the staff at the fair announced that... Uh, for someone to pick up Clyde <laughs> from where he was when he was drying off from his uh, falling into the water earlier. And at the Loud House, Clyde has regained conscious. Uh, Lincoln is hoping that Clyde wasn't offended that Lincoln was spending time with Bobby, but Clyde doesn't mind. In fact, he says it allowed him to have a date with Lori at the county fair, made it great, even if he was unconscious for it. Bobby ends up arriving to go see Lori, but we do see that, true enough, Lincoln and Bobby still have their bro-like relationship, or their figurative brother relationship, and Lucy gives uh, Clyde a, a, a gift that was from Lori. Lori wanted to thank Clyde for coming along to the county fair, and the gift happens to be the... Uh, series of photos from the photo booth that was at the in the montage during the events at the fair of the unconscious Clyde and Lori together. Uh, it knocks Clyde out again and then Lincoln, Bobby, and Lucy pretty much laugh about it in like a oh Clyde sort of way and that's where the segment ends. So the thing that I liked about this segment was it actually did bring up that it was a good example of serialized aspects within the series because, as it was pointed out earlier, Lincoln and Bobby, while they have talked before, they have interacted before, it was very brief and not very, uh, it was uh, not a very deep or complex interactions, but this segment, they actually form a figurative brother bond and True enough, later segments do show signs of Lincoln and Bobby's uh, figurative brother relationship, so that was a nice touch, and that was something that I did like about the segment, too. At first, when it looked like Lincoln was saying they couldn't do their bro stuff anymore, if that really ended up being the case, I was not going to be happy about it. But when Lincoln quickly clarified that they could still do their bro stuff together, just not at the to the extent where Lori would feel left out, that saved it for me because while it's true it was unfortunate that Lori did end up feeling like a third wheel about it, it wouldn't have been fair to Lincoln if it just went back to, oh, Bobby spends all his time with Lori and Lincoln doesn't get to have a figurative brother anymore. That wouldn't have been fair and... As uh, Lincoln pointed out, there wasn't anything wrong with Bobby spending time with Lori and spending time with Lincoln. So the fact they followed through with that saved the segment for me, and I did appreciate that. And I know one of my relatives who watched that also appreciated it because they felt that Lori didn't come off very sympathetic in that particular segment. <laughs> and they were happy to see that Lincoln, while thinking about Lori 
Lincoln's uh, bond with Bobby, they were glad that Lincoln didn't sacrifice his own bond with Bobby in the process. Now, here a detail that some people pointed out that would have been interesting was when Lenny pointed out that Lori should spend time with Ronnie Ann or suggested that, while the way she worded it did make it come off as a joke, they some fans have pointed out if you look at it from the other way, Lori being the sister Ronnie Ann never had, that could have been an interesting plot line. And that could have been nice, especially because Ronnie Ann hasn't really had any uh, deep interactions with any of the Loud sisters, at least as of the recording of this video. It's just been, uh, she's only had like brief interactions, just like how Lincoln had brief interactions with Bobby before this segment. So I admit that might have been an interesting uh, way to go. And I, I didn't personally mind what they did with the unconscious Clyde route, but... Yeah, I think that the idea of Ronnie Ann bonding with one of the Loud Sisters as figurative s sisters could have been a cool plot line that they could have explored, and maybe we'll still get that in the future. Who knows? So between the two segments, while I do favor the A segment more, like I said, the A segment was my favorite season one segment, and arguably my favorite segment from the series overall, I still don't dislike this segment, and I thought it had its strengths too. So, oh, and I should mention, this is the last segment where Lincoln is voiced by Grant Palmer, and he did a good job, so it's a shame that he had to, had to go, but I think he went out on a strong note. So with that covered, we've now discussed both segments of episode 22 on this channel. Take care and until next time.